All right, people, it took two weeks, but uh, the battery finally came in, and it came in uh, for the backhoe, my 1023E, dry, and then the dealer had to actually fill it with acid and uh, charge it. So it's a one-time fill battery, as they say. Um, so it finally came in basically Thursday and Friday. They filled it and charged it, and it takes 24 hours to charge. So FYI, that's the deal. But I thought I'd show um, a bit of this is, you know, where's the battery go in, in the backhoe? And it goes in this front compartment, way down in that well. Then there's this bungee cord off to the side that actually holds it in. To get the battery past um, the radiator here and the oil cooler and all that, fun, or, you know, hydraulic fluid cooler, all that stuff, you have to basically um, disassemble the light assembly because the back of the light will stick back too far and then you can't get the battery up and out um, it's hard enough because this thing is so friggin heavy to vertically lift it while bending over down in here but um i found that i took the light out and then i was able to get it out and i'll get it back in you know without damaging uh, any of the fins on the radiator so that's where we are at the moment and um yeah and then this hose here that's sitting here that goes on uh, the battery vent here and um, gets put through that little hole this hole down over here this one okay. I have my hand off to the side I'm going to put it um, above the well down here and then I'm going to slide it over and into the well there it is Okay, so there it is, down and in there. Um, this bungee cord straps over the whole thing, so that's, I'll just do that right now, what the heck, right? Get that uh, put in. And if this ever gets old, you know, obviously you should change it, right? But this helps. Um, you know, if you ever are so off uh, kilter that that's a problem, you know, We'll throw the vent hose on so I don't forget that before we go and um, put um, the actual cables on. There we go. That just fits over that. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Not on enough. So let's loosen it up a bit. Alright. 13 millimeter. Who knew, right? Alright. So, um, I want to widen that. And, uh, actually, I don't have to widen it per se. If I could just get it down far enough on there. But, um,. Oops. Tapping's okay, hammering not so much. Okay, especially when it comes to batteries. Holy jeez. Anyway. Okay, I guess we can tighten that, get this angled right. Ah. Ah. Boy, what a pain in the butt that is. But yeah, this is why, you know, I'll be clear, uh, you know, again, these screws are into plastic over here for um, the, uh, for the light, but um, they were into metal and I had that negative hooked up and be like Bzz. so we don't want that keep your wrench away from other metal things keep your arm away it's just good electrical safety all right so that's really on there i'm gonna put that cover on now we're gonna go for the negative and at this point you know the whole backhoe's energized that's getting nice and deep on there i like that 
And doing this just helps loosen up anything on there. Should be good. Let's tighten her up. Well, this one really got loosened up when I was on here earlier the other week. Loosening. Okay, tighten up. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love this. It's like... Okay, that's more than enough. <clears throat> See, I cannot wiggle it. So that should be good. So, this has to get put back together. Um, this looks vaguely important. Yeah, because it plugs into that other uh, light over there. So that light needs this plugged in. So we unplug. Basically, um, the one edge slides in. Uh, behind some tabs and then it bolts it. I mean, that's the bottom line. So literally Check this out. See there's little slots this slides in then this side gets bolted So that's that's all that there is to this. It's not too shabby. You know two bolts instead of four. I'll, I'll take it And it holds been holding it just fine for five years now, so Or however long I've had this now Time for sockets. Go check our 13 millimeter. Too big. That's 12. Yeah, okay. So let's go get our wrench in. Let's tighten that in. All right, so now, once this is done, we'll Get her started up once I go get the key. That's it. Yeah, it's just screws into plastic. Um, the harness, once again, we have to get this um, plugged into, I think this is the spot here. There's some spot that this plugs into, or did plug into. I'm gonna shove it in here for now. Keep her out of the way. So that, um, put the light harness off to the side. There. So now it's out of the way of the terminals. And, uh, we'll get the key. Key to the backhoe. Is it going to start? Here's the moment of truth. It's been two and a half weeks. <gasps> that sounds good because this was freaking out before. Neutral off. Neutral off. There. Put in neutral. Yes! Victory! Woo! Baby! It's working good. Eric approves, right? Yay! So now. Here, it's been sitting a while. in doubt get the widest um, shelter you can ever get biggest one yes Eric is so happy up oh you want more is that good yeah he's happy no touch buddy all right this is a fun part we just scoop some dirt yes oh 
Thanks for watching.